Here you can see that I got a different group of items in group 1, 2, and 3 respectively. So you can see that on the group 3, if I were to change it around, so let's say for example if I change the particle size, you can see the clock actually changes out because it is in group 3. Uh, talk about group 2, let's go into the particle look right here change the particle size, you can see that the floor changes right here. So my floor is on group 2 and my paint can is on group 1 respectively. So if I want to move everything all together at once, I can use something called world transform over here. So you can see that this is world transform. If I were to change this out, you can see now everything moves along, whether it is on the same group or not. So you can see that all of it moves along just like that and world position everything changes out right. So if I were to add in some animation to individual items right here, uh, the, it does not affect the world transform uh, right there. So you can change the anchor point as well and so forth. This is the world transform anchor point right there. This is the regular anchor point as you can see right here. So if I were to change the world transform anchor point, if I were to click on this, you can see that that's the anchor point right there and I can change that out as well. So this is the anchor point. If I were to click on this right here, I can change that out as well. So this is the anchor point Z and so forth. You can also increase and decrease the world scale. It'll affect everything and even work around with the world rotation right here. Uh, but if you just want to work with uh, two items or exclude one item, uh, you can also exclude items in world transform. So you can actually go over here into exclude groups right here and you can exclude something like the floor let's say for example and if i were to click this now you can see that the floor remains as it is it only affects the other two items right here so i can uh, change the uh, position of the two objects right here so i can change the x and y right here bring this upwards just like that just like that and i can also rotate it out so i can rotate this out just like that and you can see that it only affects uh, the two objects and not the floor right there. So that is how uh, you can utilize World Transform inside of Element 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.